everybody. This is Terry Nance. Welcome to the Armor Bear Awakening. I pray that today is just a glorious day for your life. Thank you for joining me, and I pray this is a blessing. And if you enjoy it, be sure and hit the subscribe button and send it to someone today, if you would. Just send it out to someone and say, hey, watch this link or one of the other videos that we've done because we're just believing for impartation in the lives of people. I want to share something uh, today with you just uh, today and tomorrow, just about something that the Lord kind of laid on my heart a couple of weeks ago as we're looking at everything happening in the world and we're looking at uh, the situations and the amount of chaos and drama. There's so much chaos in the world and there's so much drama in people's lives that it just seems like that everybody is just facing one trouble after another. And uh, I just want to share a couple of things the Lord really ministered to me. And I've been kind of teaching this at the church. And that is, you know, turning troubles into triumphs. You know, the Bible says Paul made the statement is that, you know, thanks be unto God, which always causes me to triumph in Christ. I know one of the big things as an armor bearer, and I mean, I had my challenges, I had my family, my kids and other things going on. But every Sunday, uh, I had to walk in that church and make sure that everything was in order. I had to think beyond what was happening in my own life, the drama and everything. And I had to shift the atmosphere and atmospheres are where you thrive in. If you, you thrive in an atmosphere of God's presence, a knowing that he's with you, a victorious attitude. And the thing about it is that's not going to drop out of the sky. You have to turn that into a triumph. Now we know that God is for us and we know that God is with us. And you know, one thing that you never have to do as an armor bearer, you never have to pray, oh God, be with me. Because God already said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. But we have to learn how to shift atmospheres. I want to make a statement. We have to know how to release God's presence in the face of fear, worry, anxiety, sickness, loss, and even death. Because the pastor and the leaders and people in the congregation you know, here, here's the thing. A pastor has to carry not only his own situations, but he has to carry and has to deal with the worries and the, and the things in the congregation. And you're standing there with him. So you have to bear that weight with him. And sometimes it can be a major weight, but we have to know how to shift. We've got to shift when everything, it just seems like in the ministry is going wrong. Everything's falling apart. There's no growth. This is happening. What are you going to do with it? Are you going to get depressed or are you going to shift the atmosphere? Are you going to change that atmosphere? And you do that, of course. I'll talk about these things. Me and you know this. You're going to do that through the spirit of praise and the fact that, you know what, I'm going to get up and I'm going to face this day. The Lord is with me. That's why the word is so important. Uh, you know, I can't tell you how many times I've fallen back on to Psalms 23 and just set it in the midst of a situation. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He is restoring my soul right now. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his namesake. Though I walk here, here it is. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because you are with me. Your word and your staff, they Comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. My cup, you anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. And surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I, I, I have said that, oh gosh, a thousand times in one day. That's the only thing I could say. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I am lying down in green pastures. I mean, I am at peace. I thank you, Lord, though everything around me looks like the valley of the shadow of death, looks like it's just written all over. I'm not going to fear. I will not be afraid. 
that is that is the thermostat. Your mouth is the thermostat. And I, and I sense this in, in the spirit that there are some of you watching this and there's trouble. You're troubled in your heart. You're troubled. Maybe it's family or whatever. Well, you have to turn the trouble into triumph. You have to move it. And, and uh, here's the thing. Jesus says, uh, some people, oh, God, come down, come down and help us. Well, God came down and his name is Jesus and he died for us and it's a finished work. So we have to reach up and receive. God's grace is on you. But by faith, we reach up and receive the grace and appropriate it through what? Through our praise, through our faith, through our thanksgiving. And we're going to just give God the glory as the world's atmosphere is threatened and troubled. So your personal atmospheric space will be threatened and troubled in these last days. It will. And we all have a space. We all have a world that we live in. Satan's not just, you know, Satan's coming after Israel and the devil's coming after the church. Those are the two things that he wants to pull down. And you as an armor bearer, you have to know that. So you got to, you got to have your spirit and your heart in tune with the Lord, but you have to press. And I mean, sometimes you just got to get up and say, I bind the devil. I'm going to praise the Lord no matter what happens. And when you go into the church, no matter what's going around the church, you do the very same thing. No, there's peace in this place. I thank you. This will be the greatest service we ever had. We'll have more people than we've ever had. That's the way you have to go into every Sunday. And it takes faith to do that. And that is what a pastor looks for. Because a pastor, he doesn't get to be high maintenance. He doesn't have the right. <laughs> you know, he really doesn't. Everybody looks at him and say, you don't get to be high maintenance. That's sad, but that is the truth. So as an armor bearer, you can't be high maintenance. You got to walk in there and say, no, bless God, let's get after it. <laughs> in Jesus' name, <laughs> let the Spirit of the Lord refresh you today. And you be blessed. Something good going to happen to you today.